back to front on wheels. This is it. We are here. We are definitely here this time and you are there. And not only you, not our new Norwegian fans all across the country. This is Front on Wheels International, the international cyclementary that is going to be taking you on this historical trip through Germany to Austria, believe it or not. Uh, we are in the old capital, Bonn, behind me, the Rhine. This is the Rhine Promenade and this is where it all starts. It's nice to have uh, our international friends across the whole globe. By popular demand, we are now doing this in English. So, sorry if you're Norwegians, but most of you, you do speak the lingo. Anyway, let's see, where are we? We're at Bonn and we're not going up there, we're going down there. That's where we're going. <laughs> no map for that. Wrong map. Uh, have we got any maps? Here's a map. Here's a map. This is Bonn. Yeah. Bonn is Bonn, as some people in Norwegian would say, but I find it to be a nice, nice city. And we're going to Bad, Gordersberg. Just down the road, 10 kilometers. And uh, it's going to be a nice surprise. It's going to sort of set you know, set the scene as it were for this cyclementary Fraud on Wheels 2015. So I hope you're going to join us. I hope you're going to have fun. It's going to be exciting. The Fraud's going to be up to his usual tricks. Don't you worry about that. They're standing in line. Come on, let's get on our bike. Come on, Fraud. Uh, where do we go? Off we go! Oh, Off we go!
off road. Is well, it good to be good to be back? Oh yes, indeed, absolutely. So what's going on now? We're taking the ferry across the river, the Rhine, to the other side, where we're going to visit a famous so, historic hotel for so, about. 75 years ago or something, yeah? St. Petersburg Hotel, up on the ridge there, up on the top there. That's where we're going, straight up. Are you looking forward to the trip up? Well, maybe. Look, it seems the police Uphill is up. Never fun, the police is after you again. Every time I film you, I hear that bloody sound. Petersburg, whatever. Anyway, the hotel where Chamberlain actually stayed on his second meeting when he was to meet Hitler to sort out the Sudetenland problem. Now, we're going to be showing you some more of uh, the Dresden Hotel later, but right now it's uh, hard work, hard climb, getting up this hill all the way up, and we're going to show you probably a very scenic picture of the valley and the Rhine River below. Gentlemen, we love so. When they're right about in history, things we can't forget because we all know how we fought for peace and liberty. God bless you, Mr. Chamberlain. We're all mighty proud of you. You look swell, holding your umbrella. All the world loves a wonderful baller. So carry on, Mr. Chamberlain. You know we're all with you. And when we shout, God bless you, Mr. Chamberlain, our hats go up to you. Come on, everybody! God bless you. Berg Hotel. This is where Chamberlain slept and waited for Hitler. We're going to go back into the story a bit later on. We don't do things chronologically on Frod on Wheels because this is a cyclementary. We have to go from A to B, but during the whole process we'll be covering this time in history really. Because this is the St. Petersburg Hotel. It was the second meeting between Hitler and Chamberlain. And Chamberlain stayed up here. He drove, went across the ferry, just where we went, down there. Had a kit. In fact, we'll call him Chambers from now on. Chambers. We're going to be doing some reenactment of the actual meeting later on to you know, give you an idea of what really happened and what was actually said. Well, anyway, he came over here, had a, had a small kit, a cup of tea, some sarnies, and uh, back down across met Hitler, that's where we'll be taking you, inside the Rhein Hotel Dresden, where we will be staying tonight. So uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this uh, trip, this hotel, four star hotel. You know, we like roughing it up in fraud on wheels, but tonight, you know, ooh, nice bar there over and everything. Anyway, we're going to be down there reenacting the scene, so uh, for now, I'll give you St. Petersburg Hotel, Bad Godesburg, Germany, Europe. Fella, 
This is it. This yep. is the Dayston Ryan Hotel. We have to speak quietly because obviously uh, not everyone around here knows what actually happened here all those many years ago. What happened here? Hitler and Chamberlain met in 1939. I believe it was. 38. Two, let me think. Uh, yeah, okay. It was yeah. 38, wasn't 39. <laughs> Cheers. I mean, yeah, Sudetenland. Hitler wanted it. He wanted the Germans. After the First World War, Czechoslovakia was sort of divided a bit up. Or Germany was divided up. And they got Sudetenland. And mostly Germans lived there, right? You got that? Obviously. Right, it's a touchy subject here in Germany. So you have to be a bit quiet. Anyway, and so what happened was that uh, Hitler, you know, he got on his high laurels and he wanted to, uh, you know, take over the world. And he started by, you know, having a bite in uh, Czechoslovakia. And old Chambers, Neville, he would have none of that. At least he, that's where he's from, he would have some of that for the sake of preserving the peace. And we're going to do a reenactment of what happened at this very hotel in 1938, September. The second meeting, by the way, between Neville Chamberlain, also known as Neville or Chambers, and Fred or Fritler. That's what I like to call him. But for now, it's cheers, good night from Fred on Wheels. Now follows the original and authentic reenactment of the meeting that took place between Adolf Hitler and Neville Chamberlain at the Rhein Hotel Dresden in Bad Godesberg in September 1938. Due to the shocking revelations you are about to witness, viewer discretion is strongly advised. Yes, Chamberlain's off to see him again. The Rhineland. Bad Godisberg. Welcome to the Rhineland, Herr Chamberlain. Now, Herr Chamberlain, you must tell the Czechs it's the Sudetenland for Germany. Or else. And so Hitler and Chambers sat down with their interpreters. And Hitler smiled. Hitler gestured to Chamberlain to open the discussion. And Chamberlain began the talks by covering the deadlock that had been at Berghof. How he'd managed to get London, Paris and Prague to agree on the terms that had been presented. And then he sat back in satisfaction. Hitler thanked Chambers. Thank you. And then Hitler replied. 
Es tut mir furchtbar leid, aber es geht nicht mehr. Which in English means? I'm graceful, sorry, no. Uh, I'm ashamedly uh, sorry, perhaps, but... Uh, I, it cannot go on. Uh, Is that how Hitler said it? Uh, no, I can't remember. Excuse me, yeah. It's... Yes, okay, we get the point. Yeah. What he said was that it's not going to work. Yeah. Yeah? Okay? Chamberlain replied by talking about no German blood had been spilt so far and that his political life had been put on the line. But suddenly he looked grave and went on about the escalating armed clashes and the refugees that were pouring over the border. Hitler stood up. He was furious. There was only one way to resolve the disagreement, and that was to draw the line, create the boundary that goes by the language line. And German troops, German troops were to be there, ready to tackle the situation. And that's the way Fredolf Fritler was going <laughs> to sort this all out. It's... yet. Right, Chambers wasn't too happy about this, you know, so... Um, and he was tired, and he was hungry, and he just about had enough. So off he went, ferry across the Rhine, back up to St. Petersburg. You were there, we were there, here, there, and everywhere. Been up there, right? And um, of course, he had to present this to his cabinet, and you know, and they weren't, you know, they weren't, they, they weren't having it. So what did he do? He sent. First of all, he cancelled the meeting the day after, and messages were going to and fro across the Rhine all morning, until finally they agreed on one thing. You see, what Chamberlain was after was clear, handwritten agreements covering boundaries and troop movement and everything. And so, when he got the reply he wanted from across the Rhine, down he went, ferry over, and there he was again, standing next to Hitler. And that was when Frodolf handed him the memorandum. Chamberlain picked up the piece of paper. This is not a memorandum. This is an ultimatum. It says memorandum on the top. But could we change the words demands with proposals? Would that be all right with you? Said Neville. But of course. Hitler well, wasn't furious anymore, was he? No, he was really happy. Because he got what he wanted. Absolutely. And after a lot of back and forth, they got the lines drawn, they got the troop movements, they even managed to uh, extend the date when the Germans could move in from the 28th of September to the 1st of October. Great victory, Neville. Well done. Three days. I mean, everything for peace. And then Hitler sat down, leant back and said those famous words. You're the first man to whom I ever made a concession. And in uh, in, uh, in German that would be. <laughs> Don't have the faintest clue. Du bist ein uh, erster. Du bist die erste Mann. Du eine Konzession haben gemacht. Gemacht. And with that, old Neville, good old Chambers, was happy, fine. I don't know what he got out of all this, but with a hearty, Auf Wiedersehen! Off he went to go back to his cabinet with people all over England thinking this was peace in our time. But there was still another agreement to be made in Munich, and we would be coming back to that, and we would be coming 
forward to Bagoff and Batters Garden and we're going to be covering it all. This is Front on Wheels, history in the making, history that happened and will be happening. <laughs> As you see, it happens. So don't leave us, follow us, join us, because we are there. Front on Wheels. Good night. The Sudetenland or else, Herr Chamberlain. Now I have come back is to report to the British and French governments the result of my mission. And until I have done that, it would be difficult for me to say anything about it. I will only say this. I trust that all concerned will continue their efforts to solve the Czechoslovak problem peacefully because on that turns the peace of Europe in our time. Breakfast morning at the Dresden Rhine Hotel Dresden. The Rhine is outside, crawling across. What do you have to say for yourself? What was all that cognac doing last night? Just one glass. This is two okay. glasses. Two glasses yeah. This is a serious cyclamentary. Mm -hmm. This was the rooms. Where Neville and, uh, Neville and uh, Adolf Frodoff yeah. carved up Czechoslovakia. You realise that? And uh, the funny thing is, it's not something uh, they advertise here. I mean, we've got a Frodo table, table here now, which is all falling apart. But you'd have thought there's a bit of money to be earned if you say that the Munich crisis. It was partly, you know, avoid, it was not avoided, what it? it was created here. I mean, you get a lot of American World War II buffs, you know, dropping in. But, and it is not a word about it. That's why problem we also here. To bring these things out to the open, to talk about them, to shed light on them, so the world can be a better place. Right, next trip on our bikes to the next town. New surprises await. Be there or be square, round. See you later. As you can see, it's not, not just the scenic, the scenic ride we have here. This is all about seeing a country as it truly is. And the fraud, who is the pathfinder, is taking us to a nuclear power station. Bugger. Look right. Look.
Look at that, isn't that beautiful, Frog? Isn't that beautiful, Froddy? Oh, yes. That's what we like. This is what we do. Right, behind me is Remagen. The Ludendorff, or rather, what is the remains of the Ludendorff Bridge? The last bridge of Hitler, apparently, because uh, Hitler, of course, he demolished all the bridge along the Rhine, which is behind the Siegfried Line. And uh, although there were almost 3,000 kilograms of explosives on the bridge, the Germans, I don't know, forgot whatever, but they didn't demolish it. And the Americans came. Wow, there's a bridge there. Sent in a company or a, patro a, a patrol, and they managed to secure the bridge. We're going to be going there and a quick look. There's not much left of it though, but uh, you can see the pillars on either side, and we'll be stopping there. Another fantastic surprise on Frod on Wheels for you, World War II buffs out there. So, people in Norway and people across the world. Enjoy. Remog. Remog and Bridge, as American advance columns knew it, when they made their dash over the Rhine. The Germans had left it standing, but only just. The weakened superstructure looked like collapsing any minute, and engineers worked against time to keep it standing. Finally, in spite of days and nights of feverish repair work, the bridge cracked and the whole centre span dropped in the right. Ninth Ninth Infantry Division. First complete infantry division to cross the Rhine, March the 10th to 11th, 45. Dedicated to the men of the 9th Infantry Division. Frodger Frodson. Well, here we are, folks. This is the Remagen Bridge, the remainders. As I was saying, 10 days, the Americans had it. Eisenhower said it's worth its weight in gold and probably shortened the war by what, weeks, months, no one knows, but Hitler was furious, of course. I am furious. Uh, he had uh, four or five uh, of his officers shot, thinking it was conspiracy going on. That we will never know. But I Times like this, speculation isn't, isn't the right thing to do. Perhaps a few seconds of thought and silence might just be what is appropriate in Fraud on Wheels, bringing you history. History here and now, where we are standing. Silence. So this is what happens on a cycling trip. I mean, yep. we're talking about a few kilometres after the Dermargen Bridge. And we're away. Didn't need this because we haven't got very far today. We've got a low average speed. And Honestly, this is not how I like to spend my time. Hey, Frod. Oh. This is how Froddy likes to spend his time. Yep. But not me. At least seven a day, I say. 
Do you have anything to repair? Or? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've got everything. I've got a spare tube, so. <laughs> a bit of tire broken on it. It's a puncture. It's just a puncture. Oh. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah. And I've got a repair kit. Yeah, okay, we've already noticed our first sort of real problem. I mean, the, usually I'm pretty quick at uh, changing an inner, inner tube and all that, but here in Germany, people are so nice, you see, that they, everyone's stopping, asking if we've got all the equipment we need, have a few jokes, and then I have to say, look, I don't speak German. <laughs> and uh, they go on. And I say to Froddy here, Froddy, in Norwegian of course, Freak German shrimp, so Freak German shrimp. And Froddy's there, I give him some piece of equipment, and he's lost that all over, so he's looking on the floor for everything. He could, you know, he can't keep an eye on anything I ask him to. But that's a different story. I was going to tell you how nice the Germans are. So, unless this one stop, this one will probably stop. Watch, watch. No, it didn't stop. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Work to be done. Yeah. It's late in the day. Oh, well, not really. It's late in the afternoon. We haven't really got very far today. What with the puncture and the history stops. And we need something to eat. So there goes another three quarters of an hour. And of course, we could just show you the fine tourist scenery, but this is part of Frodo Wheels. It's the tough bit. And the big one is sometimes I don't mind it because it goes pretty quick. And this is as safe as Yorkshire pudding on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, Frog? Yep. You bonked. So I did. On your first day. Oh yeah. Thir bunk. Thirty-five kilometers. Yeah. So what happens now, Froddy? You look yes. knackered. Oh, thank you. That's always nice to hear, I guess. Yeah, in I'm fact, feeling. you always you always look that way, right, actually, when I think about it. Well, I was knackered, I guess. Um, half an hour ago or so. But so what's happening now? We're getting a coffee each, at least. After the coffee? Uh, then we're cycling on uh, to Coleman's. Hopefully. 20 k's, 25 k's? Yeah, yes, roughly. Yeah. yeah. Camping? Yep. Yeah, great. Uh, this is not the Travel Channel. This is not a professional uh, tourist guide. This is the fraud. Yeah. Get used to it. <laughs> That's how it's going to be. Here comes the fraud. Blessed be his name. Where are he? And off he goes. We are now in Coblenz. I usually say Coblenz, but I think it's Coblenz actually. Cobble Streets, you know, beautiful Germany. Uh, hard slog today. That's not because it wasn't very far really at all. It was just, uh, well, we don't need to mention any names, do we? No. I had a puncture. You got that? I had a puncture. Enjoyed that. Part of the game, you know, horses and carriages. Swings and roundabouts, goes up and down, round and round. So uh, now we're enjoying beer before a beautiful campsite uh, meal is on the table. So now it's time to relax and uh, enjoy the evening. I'll see you later. Sure. 
What's going on here then? That's breakfast, is it? That's enough for somebody who's going to be cycling uh, 10Ks. 100K, sorry, not 10. Huh? What's this? It's a, it's a mess. Is this how you. Is this. It's called organizing. Look at it. That's not receiving. It's called organizing. Yep. Well, if you've got chaos, then organization is needed, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I see what yep. you mean. Yep. So, sleep well? Yeah, yeah. Nope. Me neither. I guess that like one hour maybe. But I'm feeling it would be Yeah, like, and, you, and during that hour you were snoring. Okay. 59 point. Well, 59 minutes and 55 seconds. Yeah, thank you. Well, I got news for you. You snored as well. Are you sure it wasn't somebody in the next no. 10? No. All right. I'm sure it was you. Yeah. Definitely. Don't worry, viewers, we'll be cutting out that last bit there. <laughs> well, a new day. I knew at this campsite. As you can see, the weather's fine. The frog's smiling. Everyone's smiling. And now, behind you over there is Cold Cob Coblins. 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 You're just get, getting some breakfast and taking a trip over there to see what's going on. Hello, everyone. Breakfast time. Just got out of the campsite not long ago. I'll be honest with you, it isn't early. There won't be any 20Ks before 12. Uh, slow start. Had to go to the supermarket and get some uh, breakfast. This is how we do it on uh, Frod on Wheels. Healthy, healthy stuff. Proper bread, no mucking around. Proper butter, All right? So, that's for the fraud. He likes his biscuits, he does some fruity. Yeah? Right. And this is what we do on Fraud Wheels. We live off the land, as it were, you know, in these cyclamentaries. But right now, I'm going to have a lovely breakfast. I might even have a coffee afterwards. Uh, but a bit of peace and quiet would be nice. See you later. That was a short break, a long short break. But this we're back to the Rhine. It's not going very quickly. I mean these uh, cycle paths aren't kind to my bike or my bottom. But the fraud has no problems. The fraud is marching on. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my kind of road. This was built for my bike. You can't say the same about the fraud, though, the fraud's bike. But the fraud gets there, the fraud works hard. He's not one to quit. He is not a quitter, apart from what well, he says that when he knew about chocolates and uh, you know potato chips and all that. Are you going to stop eating that? I say. He says, "No, I'm not a quitter." He says. Hmm. Anyway, you can see the road it goes all the way around the curve, following the Rhine on this beautiful day. Germans up to, huh? Yeah, the cobbled stones, cut parking where there's, uh, you know, flat asphalt. <laughs> it's a bloody night there. Yes. Fans across the world, fans of front and wheels. A cobbled stone street didn't help much. I don't know what Germany's up to. It didn't help me. Because as you can see. Another puncture. I've got two inner tubes now. I've repaired both of them, and I hope it's going to work. And I don't really understand why 
had two punctures in two days because the tyres aren't that bad. But this is the way it goes, this is life. This is Jedi, front on wheels, Germany. It's hard work, hard slog, but here we've got a bench. Just had a coffee. We're loving it, we really are loving it. And uh, the 20 k's before noon, you can forget them. 20 k's before one, but I think that's off. 20 k's before two, two bottles of wine before 11 we manage. <laughs> and two beers. There's a lot of twos there, isn't it? Anyway, I have to finish this off and we'll be back, be back on the road in a minute. So, see you later. Mm -hmm. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a nightmare. I'm under 10 k's an hour. It's the type of surface that causes punctures for some reason I'm not sure about but it's happened twice now I'm way behind the fraud which is something to be truly ashamed about <laughs> the boat's going faster than me I think he said look Rod's miles ahead. And he's almost going backwards. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Don't let it slip away. It's a beautiful day. And here we have another wonderful stretch, which really suits my bike. It goes quick and fast. Uh, we'll probably end up in Bingen today. Um, another 40 kilometers, I think, down the river. But of course, if it's like this, it goes really quick. If it's all that cobblestone rubbish, we'll be there in about three days, but we'll see. At the moment, I'm really enjoying this. This is lovely. some going the other. Hello. Hello. Oh. There's all these beer garden signs. Yeah. They're killing my morale. Yeah? It is. Isn't it? I mean. I'll stop for a couple, okay, sir? <laughs> yep. Oh, really? You had three already? Okay. Here, my only thinking about it, and you're just. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. I filmed them earlier. That, you'd be able to keep up with me. Don't know. Yeah, probably not.
are just packing up. It's early. Everyone's gone, of course. Uh, Hindenburger camping, I think. Just outside of Bingen, if I'm not wrong. Uh, a bit of crap. It was cheap, but it was a bit, bit crap. We had uh, Mr. Sunshine uh, showing us the tent where we could put up our tent. I preferred to have two beers and he wasn't too happy about that, but that's how it goes. So, Fraud on Wheels uh, recommendations. It's not gonna get one of them, it's gonna be a, one of them. Ask Fraud later, send him an email. He'll tell you all about it. Personally, I can't be bothered to waste time on people or places like this. So, uh, packing to be done, see you later. As you can see, rural areas, we're uh, sort of inland now, as it were. I don't know how far from the river, but we haven't seen the river since we left Bingen. But it's nice roads, more or less uh, flat tarmac, and uh, not too many cyclists, so it goes, it's going pretty quick today. Well, here we are, in the middle of hills, tons of flies. Ah, uh, small tiny flies, I don't know, can't see them on me now, but I had quite a wall here it is, oh man, they're all over me, and they're biting, they're biting hard, so that goes there, Bonjour. Tum, tum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yep, that's what I'm talking about, <laughs> those flies. It's gonna eat them in tons. Oh man, oh well. It's been a hot and sticky day. We haven't really got that far today. It's been uh, headwind. Pretty strong today. So, uh, inland, so we're pretty tired, so. When uh, need what's it called? Need needed need a start. Need a stop. Something stop. I don't know. But no matter what, we're gonna see if we can get hold of a hotel and uh, wash all these flies off. We got flies everywhere. Okay. See you later. This is Neerstein, folks. Cheers. Ah, right, if the fork could come a bit closer. Let's just take that bit away. Yeah, so now everybody can see me, right? Neerstein. Okay, it was 50 k's today, not very far, you might think, but it's hot and we had a headwind and it was. Uh, we're on holiday, by the way. I mean, this isn't the Tour de Germany. If it was, then it wouldn't have to be called a tour to Germany, it would be Deutschland, Turin. Okay? Right, so anyway, uh, we're on our way up the Rhine. There's some nice uh, Norwegians on the way. I said we've got a great trip, flat trip all the way up to Switzerland. Uh, Scout, he uh, took us to this uh, pensionat cheap hotel which is nice and there's a Chinese restaurant just uh, just behind me which is a buffet cheap no, so we need we had two nights of camping we need to relax a bit and we've got all these uh, telephones and video cameras and the crew the crew we've got the crew with us film crew and of course they need to uh, you know recharge their batteries for all the equipment and all that we'd rather be at a campsite yeah We'd well, you know, we, that's what we like, that's what we're used to. But anyway, so, but what, what I am missing at the moment, and you might find this strange, but I'm missing a map. And this is starting to look like the fraud, because when the frog goes on these holidays, these cycling trips, right, 
he has to buy batteries for his camera, he has to buy gas, he has to buy this. And it takes about three weeks. And then the day before we go home, that's when he gets to buy everything. And it's looking that way now. And I need a map. I need to see the whole big picture. And I need to know what happens tomorrow, what happens in three days, five days. Because we don't plan. That is not what we do. We survive. We don't plan. So we have to get hold of the map. I need to be able to think ahead. Because if we're going to hit the Alps, then it's going to be some fun. And I have to know there's some Alps in front of me, and then I don't need to know any more either. It doesn't have to be a detailed map. I don't need to know how bloody hard we have to climb one day and all that. But I need to know they're there to make a decision of where we're going to go. And on that note, me and my friend, this little bee, say cheers. See you later. You got the food, didn't you? Yeah, I've so you... got bananas, but I got your, uh, got some coke. You got some coke? Yeah. Let's see what you got here. Right, you got some. That should be enough for the day. Well, what's with the uh, what's with the bag? I asked you to get a bag to put the butter in. Yeah, well, I have another bag here. I can just throw the other bread. But that away bag you got in your hand, what we gonna, bag. what's that bag for? To make a campfire. Not to put the butter in then? No, no, no. That's, okay. Uh, hey, I need to take out some money. Yeah. Uh, can, can you, I've got my stuff here, can you show me where the, just show me where the, where the bank is? Where is yeah. it? Because yeah. I, we need to put some money back into the cash bank. Yeah. Right, let's see. Uh, what's, the what's this then? Uh, it's, uh, I'll just see this, um, Plask, uh, yeah, well, I can't take my money out here. No, 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 you can. But you can't take your money out? No. Well, but if I want some bottles, but yeah. Oh, I see. So it's not a cash bank then? No, I see. Well, tomorrow never dies. Live another day. Right, the fraud. Where are we off to now? China. China. Okay, so we've got, we've got a bag for the butter. It carries about uh, 15 kilos, and it's not. Gonna... <laughs> when the butter melts, something <laughs> drastic is going to happen, and we haven't got any money. Nice one. Mm -hmm. This is fraud on wheels. Oh look! Oh look! <laughs> no, there's, there's the bag for the butters. You didn't really have to buy a bag, did you? Yeah. No. Okay. But it's Smell nice. Melted, yeah. Oh, lovely. It's a bit all, all over the place, so it's a definite And that's bag. why I said buy another bag. A nice one. Anyway, off we go. We've got a day ahead of us. It's cooler than it was yesterday, hopefully. The frog's on form. We're on form. Slight headwind, but let's see what happens. Cycling to wine fields now, which is nice. They make. Uh, uh, we were told yesterday that this is the largest wine district in all of Germany, I believe. We're on our 
way to Worms. It's a beautiful day, just don't let it slip away. Uh, Worms, that's an easier name to remember than uh, Obenhofer, Oberstoff or whatever it was we were going. But it's, uh, it's a nice day, cool. It's well cooler than it was yesterday. Uh, we've got a headwind, seems to cool us down. And we're cycling very much inland today, which isn't bad, because it's more direct. It's not sort of following the river, so we're getting a bit of kilometres behind us. And Frod's not doing too badly either. Okay, see you later. Yeah, Frod? Hello. Hello. Parts of the small kind of empty looking villages that you go through each day. Nothing happens. Slow quiet life really. There's traffic here and here he goes. to evening. I think the magic hour is upon us. Uh, Froddy has found a Froddy way, a Froddy road. We've been dry, riding through this forest now for quite a bit, but he tells me that uh, it's a small village just down the road. Uh, we're hoping to do about 70, 75 today, but it all depends upon where we're staying for the night. So we're fit and ready. As I said, it's cooler today, so it's, you know, it's a lot better. It's not too bad. So, come on, Froddy, let's do it. Where do I go? Off we go. Where do I go? Well, China, probably. <laughs> out there who you know the Genesis, you know, the first book of Genesis. This is the day of the fraud, the day of rest. Uh, we like to stop at these historical and cultural places so we couldn't say no to this beautiful dome, cathedral, call it what you may, which was completed in 1061, believe it or not. Are you getting on camera for just 1061 and at that time it was the largest construction in the western hemisphere. But right now uh, of course uh, there are a lot of other other history travel channel and all that and all that about the cathedral. But we're World War II buffs, that's what we do, right? Um, 
and uh, this is Fraud and Wheels, the cyclumentary about cycling. And uh, we're just going to wander down, uh, I think, have something to eat and a coffee, perhaps a beer, and uh, just take it easy for the rest of the day. So, I'll see you lot later. Five hours later, this was Bayer. Totally dead. Quiet. The fraud called it a Lego town. I called it a Disney town. I mean, perfect, nice and everything. You take a few back streets and you'll find a bar. A bit crummy, a bit tired, you know, a bit shabby. Police coming in someone upstairs going too much noise it wasn't too much noise but this isn't what fraud on wheels is all about this is a postcard we don't do postcards we do well we do the fraud <laughs> that's certainly isn't a postcard is it that's life get used to it fraud on wheels signing off for tonight see you later